Hey, Becca, are you working online? Yeah, I'm working online. Tommy, are you doing online school? Yeah, I'm online. Nathan, are you online? Yeah, I'm online. Hey, Jacob, are you online? I'm online. Why are we doing this at the beach? <gasps> Yay! You guys want to go in and see the rental house? Yeah! The front door is on like the third story. Let's go, go in and check this out. It looks nice. It smells funky. This is like the fourth story. This place is huge. Oh, we got the full moon and the ocean right there. Windy and cold. Look at the size of that TV. Nathan can't even reach the top of the thing. Mom, what about you? Pool tables. Yeah. And there's the jacuzzi. This is more than enough house for us and uh, my parents who are gonna join us later this week. Is that cool, Jacob? Yeah, and no dish of cow. Well, good morning. You guys sleep well? Yeah! yeah. Well, let's <laughs> check this out. It is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. So we're gonna, we're gonna do online church right here. We're gonna take it easy and relax a little bit. And uh, then we got some fun things planned for this week. This has been such a relaxing day. It started off pretty gorgeous, but it's windy and a little bit of a storm coming in. And look what, you wanna look what you have here? All right, let's make some dinner. Hope you guys are hungry. Well. The storm just knocked the power out. Isn't that exciting? Hey, the power's back on. All right, let's go cook some hamburgers. <laughs> well, good morning. It is warm and cozy inside and beautifully sunny. So uh, I'm gonna make breakfast for everybody and then I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the day editing. Looks like my parents are here. Hi, mom. It's like Beatlemania. Yeah. Oh, Cher, this is fabulous. I thought that was brilliant. Oh. All right, I want to do some off the beach shark fishing, and uh, we're going to need a kayak if we're going to do that. All right, that's it. Signed some paperwork, picked out my kayak, and they're going to drop it off at the rental house in the next uh, hour or two. So, not bad at all. All right, well, the rental kayak arrived. I've never seen this. This is going to be exciting. When you're shark fishing, long leaders are nice because it lets the fish chew on it. So check this out. There we go. That's my leader. Fishing Dale. A fish that big on the hook that. Whole mullet is bait right there. It would have been nicer. One at a time. Poor guy. Yeah. Okay.
Alter, das war ein Gips. There you go, boy. Whew. Oh, my arm's sore. Thanks, Mom, for videoing for me. Oh. oh, we just got a nice hit on this one. That's yes! Starting. That's starting to sound more. Yes, yes. And prematurely, we're kind of done. We got a ton of bites on this short rod and it just never quite hooked up properly, but it was acting like maybe a small shark on there. But it's getting time to go home. So let's reel in. All right, go for it. Reel it in, buddy. Dad, there's nothing on it. Yep, he got her bait. Oh, we'll be out here tomorrow. Well, it's Wednesday morning and uh, I'm gonna go do a fishing charter. Unfortunately, it's just gonna be me because it's gonna be a lot of casting and sight casting. The boys quite aren't up to that yet, but uh, I'm just grabbing some breakfast and see if we can't catch some fish. See you guys in a little bit. We're here. All right, I think that's our boat. Oh, I'm ready to have a good time. All right, man. All right, guys, I'm here with Captain Crockett here on Real OBX, and uh, we're gonna be targeting a lot of different species. Uh, maybe some redfish, uh, maybe some different types of trout, uh, kind of whatever, whatever's out there, huh? That's right. All right, so we're cruising around these flats and oyster beds and around these marshes. He's up in the tower, and he's gonna hopefully be able to spot the fish we're targeting. So, got eyes in the sky here. I am so sore from shark fishing yesterday. <laughs> uh, did you get into them? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Uh, it's acting kind of like a flounder. A little guy. Another one came up off the bottom to eat this thing. <laughs> oh, Flat Daddy thinks he's on the bottom. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's a great fluke. There you go, another boy. This is like flounder number five here. Uh, and you know, they say 90% of your fish are in 10% of the water. Yep. <laughs> They're not good social distancers. <laughs> little guy. Little guy. Oops. It's good release. These fish are going to be eating on the paw. Look at you, yeah. Look at that little spunky flounder. All right, there we go. All right, guys, well, we caught the crap out of those little flounders, but we're gonna go try another spot and see if we can't find some redfish and trout. Yeah. All right, we just threw for about five minutes, no real hits or sign of action, so we're gonna move and try another spot. All right, we've been popping these little rattlers, not much has happened, so we're gonna try another spot. We're gonna go try another spot. Nothing really bit, so we're gonna go try another spot. Well, I 
it's already about one o'clock and we're calling. It's one, one of those days, we, but we weren't skunked, man. We got into a lot of flounder, which was the one species we didn't think we were gonna get into. So that, that just goes to show you. Hi, Jacob. Time to go out and kayak some baits. The waves look a little tamer today, so hopefully it won't be as much work. Well, I've got all three rods out and the middle one got hit hard and spooled like 30, 40 yards of line and then I let, let go. Whoa! That one's been going slack and tight and slack and tight. This one just went really slack. Gonna... Oh, he just hit it back. Oh, that was good. We might get a double. That's terrifying. <laughs> he might be on now. Watch out, Tom. Watch out. Yeah, you want a real one? Oh, did you see that? Oh, he just freaked out, Dom. He's I, I, it's cutters? Yeah, it's all cutters. There he goes. All right, Tommy, high five. Yeah. Oh. oh my goodness. Careful, Tommy boy. Tommy, look, look, Tom, look, look, look. Two yeah. sharks! I finally reeled in the big blue rod and they didn't just steal my bait. He bit through the wire. We gotta get up at four in the morning for a fishing charter tomorrow, so I think we need to call it and go to bed. Mm. I never ever been up the, this way before. All right guys, it's 5.30 in the morning. We're here in Hatteras and me and the boys are about to get ready to go out on a charter to go fish for tuna and all sorts of things. We are tired, but excited. Good man. Woo. All right. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day, man. Fish and, and marlin. We've got a bunch of these teasers and then we've got some rigged up ballyhoo and we're dragging this behind the boat and seeing if we can't get some tuna or wahoo or marlin to come up and rise to it. All right, Nathan's tackling the first fish of the day. Hey, he's way back there. Oh, look at this. Woo! A black tuna. tuna. That's your first black fin, buddy. Yeah, 
It's a little tuna. Oh, -ho. oh yeah, that was correct. Here, Dub. Well, it slowed down a little bit, and the boys have been taking a nap. Getting up at 4 a.m. is hard for a little guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I right, pull it off. Keep going. What you got there? Something got away. I just saw my man here smelling his bait. He swears he can smell the difference between a bait that's been bit by an amberjack versus a barracuda here. Oh, yeah, this ain't no black fin tuna. <laughs> oh, that amberjack. He can yeah. smell him. Yeah. He was on the scent. Woo! That's my first amberjack right there. About the time that you can smell the difference between a barracuda and an amberjack, that's about the time you start biting the nose off your bait fish. Guys, <laughs> do it! Yeah, Tom, go for it. Yeah, I think you can get him. Yeah, Keek Mackerel just came flying out of the water, exploded like a northern pike. <laughs> got him. Yes, I got him. Oh! Look at that. Look at that. That is a big fish. Nathan used his T-Rex strength. Well, it's been a fabulous day, but the rain's coming down. We're gonna call it and head on in. We've got plenty of fish. Okay, boys, look at me. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's an eye. No, it's like a marvel. We made it home and it's already 8 o'clock and I foolishly agreed to get up at 4 a.m. tomorrow as well to go do this again. I am exhausted. <laughs> Well, it's 5.30 in the morning and me and Tom got up super early to go on a charter to celebrate his birthday. We were gonna go fishing for 10 foot sharks and marlin and whole sorts of crazy stuff, but it's six foot plus waves out there and the captain's like, yeah, you don't want an eight year old out there. So we're back at the condo and uh, we're gonna grab some flashlights and we're gonna do some pre-dawn beach combing. All right, you ready? Yeah! Those waves are nasty, buddy. Look at that. Pretty. Oh yeah, that's a piece of a whelk. That's what we want to find. Big old jellyfish. Yeah, a lot of 
big wave. Yeah. Are they, are they hatched yet? Yeah, these are all hatched. Three uh, shark eggs. Big what? old, it's a big old sand flea. Well guys, I don't know about you, but I am in the mood to eat some of that fish. And I'm gonna start with the tuna. I think we should have some tuna sashimi tacos or poke tacos. First things first, we're gonna make a mango kiwi pineapple pico de gallo. tuna here, some avocado or two, sprinkle some more cilantro, there, little poke tacos. All right guys, who wants poke tacos? Well, we have been lounging, relaxing, and eating pretty much all day so far. So uh, we finally got some energy up and me and Jake are gonna go to the fishing pier. I'm not going. All right, Jake, you got not much was going on at the pier, so we're gonna go and do some surf fishing right here off the beach, but not with my big old shark stuff, just uh, normal gear. There we go. When everyone and their pet dog is out fishing and catching nothing, use small hooks. It's a number 12 right there. Also, you don't need to cast that far sometimes. I caught this guy about 10 feet from the, from the shore. Okay, both of you guys, put your hands on him. One, two, three, throw him. <laughs> okay, my mom came by and asked me how you can tell the difference between a fish bite and the waves. With the waves, your rod tip will slowly load up, then kind of go like this, back up. With the fish bite, it's all over. Well, Becca, are you having fun? Having a great time. But it's getting a little cold. Should we pack it in? Yeah, let's go back. Well, it's the end of our last night here at the rental house, and we are about three quarters of the way through to Blackfin Tuna. This stuff is good. But we're not just packing up and leaving in the morning. Uh, we're gonna do a live stream on our YouTube channel. I'm gonna do a little surf fishing and Becca might go flying in a biplane of all things. So we're gonna see what tomorrow holds. It's checkout day and we're packing up and getting the house all cleaned. I did about a one hour live stream, went pretty well, caught a spot in a black drum and a whiting. Not bad for an hour fishing, but it's uh, time for us to get going and go ride in a biplane. Well, Becca and Nathan are gonna be going up in a biplane, so I am gonna send Becca with the camera here. There you go, there's there you some batteries. Go. Love you. Good luck. Nathan, are you excited to go in this? Yeah, the pilot. Walk right up this shaded area. We're excited.
This was super fun. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Come back and do it again. Was that fun? Yeah, I loved it. I loved it and it was scary. Did you have a good time? I loved it. It was so fun. <laughs> Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little travel adventure video. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our travel and adventure playlist. We do lots of different types of videos and we organize them by playlist. And don't forget to click subscribe and we'll see you next Saturday morning. Yay, yeah, yeah, Bye. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. Go Jacob! Go Jacob! Go Jacob!